three. Hi there, it's Judith Ann Desjardins, and today I'm happy to report I am in my home once again in Santa Fe. And this may be a very emotional message from me because for my followers who know me, 14 months ago I was diagnosed with stage one pancreatic cancer. And what ensued over the following year was major surgery, recovering from that, and then five months of chemotherapy. And then I acquired blood clots in my lungs because of the chemotherapy. And I had to go on uh, blood thinners for that. And I twice failed the altitude simulation test at 8,800 feet and was thinking that I wouldn't be able to return to my home in Santa Fe, which is 7,200 feet, which was crushing to my spirit. And a couple of months ago, I decided I'm 14 months clear of cancer, and I don't want to have any lingering side effects or diminished areas in my life because of cancer. And so I told my husband, let's drive to Big Bear in California, which has uh, various high altitudes, like 7,200, 8,800. And the whole way, I was testing my oxygen saturation on my finger. And at one point at high altitude, I actually had to use my Inogen oxygen concentrator for about 10 minutes. But once we were at a stable altitude of 7,200, my oxygen saturation was at a lovely 95. And so I said, OK, I want to go to Santa Fe for Christmas. It's important to me. It's been my identity through my family. Um, my father actually worked in Gallup, New Mexico in the 1930s, working with the Navajo. Uh, people and uh, their sheep breeding program. So I grew up with Navajo artifacts throughout my home since I was a little girl, and I always had a special love for the Navajo people. And so I love to drive across Arizona into New Mexico, the whole Navajo nation is very important. We also used to drive through Santa Fe on our way to Wyoming, our family ranches. My mother and stepmother father were married here. I have deep roots since I was a little girl with Santa Fe. And so it was especially important for me to get back here. And I was willing to bring the oxygen concentrator. I took the uh, my oxygen uh, level as we were traveling through um, high country in Flagstaff, and the reading was very good. So I'm happy to report here in Santa Fe, I do not have any limitations from the cancer. I do not have any impairment to my breathing, and it is so wonderful to be in my home here again. I'm sharing my story because many of my followers are cancer patients or have cancer patients in their families. And you have been following me through the various stages of my treatment and chemotherapy and the effects afterwards, the emotional, psychological effects. And I can say that the psychological, emotional effects of cancer are probably more significant and debilitating 
than the cancer itself, although mine was only stage one, so that's relative to your diagnosis. But it was very important for me to regain the person I was before cancer. And for a while there, I was thinking, I might have to sell my house in Santa Fe. I may never be able to travel at that altitude. I had all these negative feelings building up inside of me, and so this trip is like a miracle for me, that I am done with cancer, I am back to who I was before, and I'm hoping that this message gives everyone out there dealing with cancer hope that they will get through it as bleak and dark and painful and scary as the experience is, and to come out the other side and appreciate life even more so than before and be able to celebrate in your homes that are filled with the people and the animal children and whatever you see as valuable in your home. For me, it's this beautiful Navajo artwork that speaks of these wonderful people who were here long before the white man came to this area. And they have held on to their culture, their religion, their belief system. They have chosen not to assimilate by and large. And they are producing beautiful, beautiful artwork as well as the other native tribes that are in this area, all the Pueblo Indians. And so I wanted to share my joy with life, with my love of the Navajo people, and wish everyone the very best of the holiday season. Hold on to hope. Don't let anything cause you to lose hope or your sense of yourself or the love of your family, the joy of being alive. I've gotten through this. You can get through it. And I am praying for you all over the world. And I want to thank you, my followers, for your interest in me. And your prayers meant so much to me. And I am a happy, healthy, thriving person who happened to have cancer. Thank you. I send you my love.